We've seen the ladder in the sky, in the spine. Now let me show you where it really gets strange. Physicists and AI researchers are literally using the phrase Jacob's Ladder in their papers. <laughs> You're joking. I'm not. In density functional theory, that's quantum chemistry modeling, there's something called Jacob's Ladder of Approximations. Each rung represents a more accurate way to simulate how electrons behave in molecules. So scientists are climbing toward truth, one step at a time. Exactly. The first rung is crude, basic approximation. Second rung adds corrections. Third rung gets even closer to reality. You keep climbing until your simulation matches what nature actually does. And they call it Jacob's Ladder? They do. Look it up. Jacob's Ladder of Density Functional Approximations. It's in textbooks. And here's the kicker. AI scaling laws work the same way. Scaling laws? When you give an AI model more data, more parameters, more compute, it doesn't improve smoothly. It jumps. Discrete leaps in capability, like climbing rungs. So intelligence itself has steps? Or at least our path toward intelligence does. Recent papers from 2024 and 2025 describe these jumps as quantized. You hit a threshold. Suddenly the model can do something it couldn't before. Another rung. This is the same pattern again, isn't it? Separation, then a bridge appears. Then you climb back toward wholeness. Except now it's equations instead of myths. Actually, yeah. In the Eden Hypothesis framework, which is speculative, folks, you could argue that reality itself is iterating back toward coherence. Each scientific breakthrough is like consciousness correcting its own incomplete models. Wait, are you saying science is spiritual rehab for reality? <laughs> oh, I like that, Charlie. I mean, kinda? Think about it. We fall into partial understanding. That's the fall. Then we build better models, better simulations, better AIs. Each rung gets us closer to seeing the full picture. That's a kind of return. The mystics called it Gnosis, remembering what you always knew. Scientists call it Discovery. But maybe it's the same ladder, love. So every time we figure something out, we're climbing back toward the unified view we started from. And here's where it gets really interesting. More interesting than math becoming myth. Way more. Because we're not just modeling this ladder in computers anymore. We're building it, physically, between Earth and the moon. I'm sorry, what? That's next. And trust me, it ties everything together. The ladder in the sky wasn't wrong, Charlie. We're just building it ourselves this time. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be building a space ladder? That's a totally normal thing to do. Oh, you have no idea.